Okay, and that catastrophic tornado has caused several injuries in Jefferson City this morning. Leslie Aguilar live in Jeff City for us. Leslie, what are you seeing around you this morning? Yeah, well, as the sun comes up, we've just been able to see more and more how destructive this tornado was. Just to take a take a walk with me. Look at these power lines just tipped over and on the street. I don't even know what these wires are from, but very dangerous situation out here. You definitely have to watch where you're going. And that's why police are still asking that for people to stay inside their homes if they have no reason to get out just yet. This is a U-Haul building. We see, I don't know if these are renters or people who own it have been out here kind of assessing the damage damage to this storage unit. Um, so just so much damage down this street off of Highway 54, which was the path that the tornado took, just left so much damage. And around here is where uh, Missouri Task Force One is still doing rescues. Take a look at this apartment right here. Um, I don't know if there's still anybody inside these, but that tree just snapped in a pile of rubble, just twisted metal with those branches. You see kind of crazy, weird things um, in this tornado damage or pieces of metal wrapped around uh, wrapped around things and um, I don't know, pieces of wood just stuck in the ground in weird places. And um, we just saw Missouri Task Force One flying a drone up over here assessing the damage. We do know that, that later today they're expected to bring a chopper over it. But any minute now we're expected to get a update um, from the Missouri governor and all of the first responders out here that's over at the sheriff's office. We're going to um, stream that live. So by then we should know a lot more about injuries. No confirmed um, reported fatalities just yet, which is great. We hope it stays that way. Um, we'll bring you that new information as soon as we get it. But for now, reporting live in Jefferson City, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 oh, News. Everything's just mangled. It is, yeah. And we didn't get to see that until the sun just came up. Yeah. But it really puts into perspective what those people are going to be dealing with, not just today, but for weeks to come in the cleanup process. Let's get you over to Aaron Little.